What's up guys? So I'm just making a video in response to this Vice World News story that has been going around and my fans have sent me uh, screenshots and links to this video where my face is featured with the headline accused of plotting a mass shooting targeting women. And I have to be completely transparent. I just got finished shooting a 40 minute uh, reaction to their very video. And at the end, when I went to review the video, I discovered that my voice was muted. And so I instantly took that as a sign from God not to fight fire with fire. And uh, I, was, I was very irate. And I watched it and I paused every time they said something dumb and I gave my opinion. But um, I know now that when something like the pausing of my voice happens, that that means Elliot, slow down, think about what you're doing. You don't want to cause more problems. Now, I actually don't see this as a problem. I watched the video and of course it's rife with all kinds of lies. Um, but the mere fact that they used a picture of me, <laughs> right? A man who is a father of four children. I have three daughters and three teenage daughters at that who love me and I love them. And we have a wonderful relationship. I have a son and I've been married for over 20 years. I married my high school sweetheart. Uh, then to use my picture about uh, a mass shooting of women. And, you know, of course, I think they changed the title of it. One of my fans sent this. They, they changed the title because I'm sure somebody on the other side was like, okay, you can't really do that. Um, and they changed it to toxic masculinity is fueling lone shooters. Now, to be completely honest, for the most part, when things like this happen, I usually just ignore it. I'm like, you know what? They're, they're not going to change it. They're going to do what they're going to do. They live by the whole trust me, I'm lying uh, idea. The mere virtue, mere fact that they're, uh, they're, the name of their news is Vice World News, uh, the target market that they're speaking to really has nothing to do with me. And I don't see this hurting me. I see it as them hurting themselves for anybody who knows. And if anybody ever comes to me and is like, what is this all about? All I would do is show them the video that they screen captured my face from. And if you know anything about that particular video, this is a video that I shot uh, many years ago uh, about MGTOW. And in the video, I essentially say that MGTOW is a good idea, but the problem that we're struggling with as men is a lack of father energy, a, lot, a lack of fatherhood in our culture. And as you know, I mean, I have, I have, the, the, the top father, uh, St. Joseph, and you know that I am a patriarch. I love family. I love marriage. I love fatherhood. I love God the Father. I love his son, Jesus Christ. I am a traditional Catholic man, and I promote uh, all things opposed to vice, right? And that's so funny that that's what they call themselves, vice. I promote virtue, and in particular, I promote masculine virtue, and all the things that are required in order to heal our world from the problem of these violent acts that are uh, happening by young men who are, in fact, fatherless. If you take a look at this, the statistics in regards to the men who are, uh, or the young men who are enacting these, uh, these, doing these acts of violence, they all come from fatherless homes. And it's the very political ideology and the ide ideology of feminism that has created this. Uh, you know, in the video, they, they feature Elliot Roger, right? Happens to have the same name as me. And his sexual frustration at the age of 22 for still being a virgin. And they're saying that, you know, these men, they're sexually frustrated, but they wouldn't be so sexually frustrated if we didn't live in a culture that promoted sexual promiscuity, sex out of wedlock, and the transient sexual... Uh, sex partner world that we live in, right? Sterile transient sex, uh, birth control, right? The, the contraception, the uh, chemical castration, blowing, blowing your load in a bag by boning lots of broads, and the pride that's supposed to be associated with that. I am a fan of weaponized chastity. I'm not a fan of using w you know, weapons of war in order to fight this battle. I am a fan of using the weapon of chastity. And if men began to really actually honor chastity and uphold virtue and stop calling guys incels with a bad taste in their mouth, but recognize that you could be a voluntary celibate man that will turn this boat around. 
And I'm not going to go too deep into the ills of feminism, how it's destroyed the family, and why it is the actual scourge on our culture. Uh, but I will just point out that it is the destruction of the family that has been the unfolding of this plot by Satan against the culture. And so I'm not going to rant too much more. It was a 40 minute video. And I just take that as a sign from the God above that he said, hey, Elliot, you blowing your your wind uh, for no reason. Either that or you're going to cause more problems. But I do feel as if I owe it to my fans to make a video like this about this. And I am calling for some support. If any of you are a lawyer or you know a lawyer out there or somebody who deals with these sort of defamation cases, uh, please send them my way. I will be releasing uh, an official statement here pretty soon. And I'm not going to just let this slide like I normally would because this has less to do about me and my pride and more about how they have portrayed the, 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 the righteous patriarchal movement of men to, to, to begin to step into our power. And that's really what the Manosphere is all about. And, uh, and not, you know, not honoring that as a means by which we're going to climb our way up out of the degenerate culture that we're living in. The video is horrible. It's all about pitting men against women. Uh, it's about blaming men for violence, not realizing that the violence comes from a frustration that was created by the Marxist, and make no mistake for it, anything left-wing, progressive, uh, vice-ridden is Marxist. Um, and you know that Marx was influ uh, influenced by Hegel, right, or, or um, Engels, and he was all about breaking up the family, destroying the family. And so we know that that's a sentiment from which these people proceed. Um, and so that is, that's, really the, that's really the root issue, the root, the root problem is the breaking up of the family, the removal of the father. Antonio Gramsci said that if you're gonna destroy the West because the only way that you're gonna get a global, uh, a global communistic one world order is if you took out America and the West. And he said that the way that you would do that is by removing the father. And he meant that in a twofold way. He means that by removing God the father, right? And so de-Christianizing the West and they won. And then also removing fathers from the home. And so, of course, that's, you know, uh, that's Engel's idea. And so we're there. We're there right now. This pitting against the races that they did in this video also was deplorable. Um, black people, black men, right? I'm, I'm half black, half white. So I'm, I feel like I'm a bridge in many ways to, to, to healing some of the issues around masculine and feminine gender relations and black and white. Blacks, they, uh, they lump us in with feminist and feminism and leftist ideology. And you got to understand that the, 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 the black man is an alpha male. That's why he dominates in all these sports. And they understood, i.e., uh, Willie Lynch letters, <laughs> that in order to destroy black men, you, you turn them into women. And so that's a, part of the, that's, that's a part of where we are right now. And so I would be very upset if I was, you know, I am, I'm half black. But as a, I'm speaking to my black brothers out there, that if you are a leftist or if you are a progressive or if you're a democratic socialist, you are um, you're falling right into the hands of those that want to feminize you. Uh, the whole leftist ideology with feminism and LGBTism um, has adopted the BLM. They actually created BLM. You know, it's run by a bunch of black female lesbians, just so that you're aware of who's pulling your strings. Uh, and then they also try to pit it, you know, so they blame white people. They blame, the big blame is, is straight white Christian men, right? That's who the big enemy here is in this video. And it's so funny that they use my picture, right? Well, I am straight. I am a man, uh, but I'm a mixed man. And so they also, you know, I said Christian, I'm a Christian. And they also try to pin it like, you know, Muslim against Christian also. And they talk about, you know, they use that, they use that trope. They use that little ploy also as well. Uh, black men, alpha males, most Muslim men that I know are alpha males. You know, I'm a, I'm a Catholic man. I, I love my faith. I love Jesus Christ. I believe that he is God incarnate. But I also recognize how Muslim men are patriarchal. They, and, and the Muslim culture is very anti-leftist ideology. And so black men, Muslim men, if you watch these left-leaning um, ideas and promotions and allow them to lump you in with feminists 
and LGBTism, uh, then you, you, I would be upset too, right? Don't let them lump you in with that category so that you're against their enemy, straight white Christian men. And so the whole thing is, it's, it's all about creating separation, if you watch it. It's all about creating hate. It's all about making men look bad. It's about making white people look bad. It's about manipulating blacks and Muslims and making them feel like they're somehow victims when in actuality they are very strong and powerful people, uh, not the way that they're portrayed in the media, like you guys are some kind of soft weaklings that need protection. But that's how they do it. They find people that are, um, or they create victim classes and then uh, create an enemy. So you need to create an enemy and you create a victim class. I mean, if you just look at uh, Karl Marx and his, his ideas and you understand how we got to where we are right now. And if you don't believe that we are under a deep psychological, we're in a deep psychological war and under ideological subver subversion, look at the work or the videos of Yuri Bezmenov. I invite you to do some research on that. I, uh, oh boy, I wish I would have pulled up some resources here for you. Maybe I'll do another video. Uh, but the idea is that these people are the enemy. Vice News is the enemy. Just think about it, fellas. Just think about it. If you're a man and you're watching Vice News, not realizing that virtue comes from the word man, V-I-R, ver, man, right, in Latin or Greek, I don't know. But I just know that the word virtue is a masculine word. The opposite of virtue is vice. And so in this video, they promote all kinds of vice. They are uh, pro-pornography. In this video, Vice, they are pro-masturbation um, <laughs> and they're pro-violence. Regardless of what they tell you in terms of, you know, pointing out the mass shootings, it's their ideologies that promote the violence. It's a, it's a psychological warfare. It's a war on the soul that they're unfolding that's causing the, the, the fruit is the mass shooting. It's not because men are starting to wake up and recognize that we have been asleep for the past 100 years. They're afraid that men are waking up and they should be afraid because when men are not hypnotized by video games and online pornography or chasing women and being promiscuous and blowing our load to lose our energy, well then we find something to do. And the number one thing that men like to do is solve problems. And in order to solve problems, men look for the problems. And men are starting to pick up their heads and realize there's a problem, Vice News, and you're a part of the problem. And if you're afraid, you should be. And this is not a call for violence. I tell you right now, as I told you five minutes ago, that men, it's for us to weaponize chastity. If we stop having sex with all these women and we stop porn and masturbation and all these sexual vices, well, they have no power over us. Their power comes from manipulating us through sex, fellas. I hope you understand that. That's the war. The physical war is not a war on bombs and bullets. It's a war on sexuality. And if we can rein back in our sexual prowess, if we can take back our sexual strength by not spilling it and spreading it and allowing ourselves to be manipulated by it because of quote unquote sexual revolution free sex, women will remember themselves too. We gotta bring back marriage take it away from the state and bring it back into where it belongs, which is a union between a man, a woman, and God the Father and their community. That's what marriage really is supposed to be about. But it's been perverted because it's become a state institution rather than a spiritual institution, rather than something that's between two people, God, and the community, their families. That's all that marriage is and ever should be. Bring back families where fathers and mothers are there together in the home and they stay together. No more of this uh, easy divorce. In a an easy divorce, not only that, promoted divorce. Because we live in a culture that promotes all kinds of uh, sexual escapades. And we look highly upon those who are you know, addicted to the pleasure of poking. That's really what it is. Men and women, if, you're, if you think that there's some kind of value or virtue in being promiscuous, it's the same thing as somebody who's obese and thinks there's some virtue in eating more donuts. Look at all the donuts I'm eating. It's an addiction to pleasure, just mind you, especially if it's unfruitful. Unfruitful sex is addiction to pleasure. So we gotta rein back in our sexual deviance and our addiction to pleasure, right? It begins with a lot of that, 
right? If we're going to have, we're going to make marriage great again. We're going to make families great again. Men got to get away from porn, got to get away from masturbating, got to get away from uh, promiscuity, got to get away from putting the puss on the pedestal, all these various things. That's the war. That's, in fact, that's the physical war. The physical war is a sexual war. It's not a bombs and bullets war. Don't go out there and shoot people. Take pride in being a virgin. Go your own way. That's where they took the video from my MGTOW video. They took that picture from my MGTOW video. Men, go your own way. There's value in going your own way. There's value in retaining your sexual power, your prowess, your seed, and not needing to spill it out in a plastic bag with some broad or by watching screen sex. Take back your sexual power, and then the root of it is a return to God the Father. It's a return to the Father in heaven. Father, the word father means pattern. Pattern means archetype, means spirit. It means a return to spirit, a return to meaning, a return to purpose in our lives. And that means that there also needs to be a movement away from the world of material, matter, sensuality, addiction, like I was saying before, addiction to pleasure. Cross-culturally, all, all forms of initiation for young men was a movement just like I described, a movement to the way, a world, a, away from the world of the mother, matter. Any man who's addicted to sex or is chasing women is a man who still wants his mommy's boob. You're still addicted to the pleasure of you know, getting good feels from a girl. We, we, there's always been a movement away from the world of the mother and a movement of, and an atonement with the world of the father. We have to return to our fathers. And most of our fathers are weak because they're byproducts of the sexual revolution of the 1960s. They're weak, emasculated, beta male men. I'm just grateful. I'm, I'm lucky. I'm blessed by the fact that my father wasn't raised in this degenerate culture. My dad's from the jungle of Lee's. And so he's alpha by nature. And that's how I learned how to be a man and how to be a father and why my family works. I set boundaries. There's so many different ways that my family could have been manipulated if I had let them. Strong fathers don't allow that. So we need strong fathers and we need to return to God the Father. A movement away from sex, sensuality, and effeminacy, addiction, men. So... If, if they're going to accuse me of anything, any kind of war, it's going to be with the weapon of chastity and the return to the Father, a movement away from all the tintillating, sensual, sexy, deviant, degenerate, deleterious effects of our postmodern culture and a return to tradition. And so that's my official statement on that for the moment, Vice. Um, I will be saying more. You will be hearing from me. And that's all for now. Done. <laughs>